What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's disaster detail is on this 2017 Chevy Colorado and this has got to be the nastiest Chevy Colorado in the entire world from the thousands of dead roaches underneath the carpet to the stains to the filth to the grease to the just the smell this truck had is just downright disgusting and even the outside of this truck is absolutely terrible. The swirls that it has is insane. The amount of clay that is underneath this truck is just, everything about this truck is just the nastiest thing. It's kind of hard to explain. I keep saying absolutely, but I cannot put in words how disgusting this truck really is. And the funny thing is, is I actually bought this truck. It is mine. I bought it from the auction because in one of my previous videos, I mentioned I'm going to start buying and selling these nasty cars and showing you guys how much money I can make. So I actually bought this one from the auction. I will explain later on in the video, but I also sell this truck in this video at the very end. So you'll get the customer's reaction to seeing this truck. So if you guys want to know more about this, make sure you guys have your sound on and you guys are listening because I will explain a lot more about this truck later on in the video. But with that being said, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and give this video a thumbs up it really helps with the algorithm and I put a lot of time and effort into these videos so it only takes a couple seconds go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this disaster detail So moving on to cleaning the wheels, the first thing I need to do is take our pressure washer and blow out all the loose clay, dirt, brake dust that is caked into the fender wells, tires, and wheels. And then I can move on to actually cleaning them with our Mad Detailing Extreme APC for the tires and fender wells. And for the wheels, I'll be using our Mad Acid and I'll also be using multiple different brushes to get these wheels and tires 100% clean.
After getting all the wheels and tires clean, I can now move on to cleaning the undercarriage of this truck. And for this, I'm using our Extreme APC and our pressure washer to blow away all this caked on clay. And sometimes I use a undercarriage washer thingamajig that you hook to the pressure washer. But honestly, sometimes I prefer just the pressure washer alone because it has more pressure and it just does a more thorough job. So I always get a ton of hate when I wash a truck from bottom to top, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly why. If you look at the right side, you can see the degreaser just runs straight off. And when I do the left side and I work from bottom to top, you can see every brush of the pressure washer has degreaser in it. So you're gonna have a more thorough wash and you're not gonna have any streaking if you were to wash it from top to bottom. And that's how I do it anytime that I use chemicals. But now moving on to actually washing this vehicle, I'm first gonna foam the entire truck down with our foam cannon and our mad detailing super blue soap. Then I'm gonna be using our mad detailing 100% boys hair brushes to get in all the cracks that the wash mitt can't get into. And then after that, I'll be using our mad detailing microfiber wash mitt to give this truck a nice wash. And then I will get it all sprayed off and then it'll be time to move back onto the disgusting interior. So moving on to cleaning the interior, the first thing I need to do is get all the trash and anything that is too big to be sucked up by the vacuum. And then I can give the carpet a nice pre-vacuum before getting it pulled out of the vehicle because this vehicle is insanely infested with roaches. So I'm gonna have to give every inch of this vehicle a deep clean. And also I didn't get it on film, but I also had a exterminator crew come out and spray this entire truck. I've had this truck for two and a half weeks now. so. This is not just a one-time thing. I made sure that this truck got a thorough 100% cleaning, that every single roach was killed, all the eggs removed. So yeah, this isn't just like we vacuumed it out, cleaned it and sold it to the customer. We made sure this truck was 100% before selling it to its new owner.
So down below, you guys will now see a join button because we just now came out with our mad detailing memberships. So what that membership is going to include is special emojis, special badges. I'm also be going live once a week. I'll be doing Q and A's. I will be doing how to's. If anyone wants to learn more about this business, I will go in depth with you. You guys can have my personal phone number, whatever you guys want. I want to interact with you guys more on a daily basis. So that's why we're doing memberships. Or if you guys just want to support the channel, I appreciate it a lot. Once again, it is the button down below, the join button. Or if you guys don't want to join, that is perfectly fine. I still appreciate every single one of you for all the support that you guys have given us. I just thought this would be a great opportunity for me to interact more with you guys because I can't just post videos on the main channel every single day because YouTube just wouldn't like that and they would punish me for it. So yeah, and also, pretty much all the money that I get from memberships, I'm going to be giving it back to you guys, you members. I'm going to be doing giveaways once a month, free merch. I'm also going to be doing shop meets where you guys can come to the shop, hang out, learn about detailing, detail some of these nasty cars with me. We're going to be doing a lot of special things. So I highly recommend joining and becoming a member. That's insane. There's thousands. Now with the carpet pulled out of the truck, it's now time to move on to the seat extraction. And for this, I'm using our Extreme APC followed by our Milwaukee drill with a drill brush attachment. And for the extractor, I'm using my mighty HP60 hot water extractor. And I'm gonna have to repeat this process multiple times because these seats are absolutely disgusting. And I'm sorry if you guys are pretty creeped out about how nasty it was underneath this carpet. I was honestly mind blown myself. I've never, ever, ever seen that many dead roaches underneath the carpet that is absolutely insane.
So while you guys are enjoying this seed extraction, I thought I would talk a little bit about this truck. So this truck is a 2017 Chevy Colorado with 25,000 miles. And as you guys can see, it has been a rough 25,000 miles. But like I was saying at the very beginning, I did buy this truck at auction and I stole this truck, to be honest with you. These trucks are selling anywhere from 24 dollars to $26,000. And with the condition that it was in, this truck actually ran at the auction for, I believe it was two months and didn't sell. So I went ahead and picked this truck up because I know this guy has been looking for this truck for, I think he said a year, but I don't know how long it's really been. But he asked me, hey, do you think you can find me a Chevy Colorado for the low? That's what he said. And I was like, honestly, in this market, you're not going to find anything cheap. But then I did run across this nasty truck and I contacted him, told him what it was, that it had roaches, everything like that. And we agreed on a price and that's where we are today. So I'm going to tell you guys how much I paid for this truck. So. I paid $9,300 and then I think it was roughly five to $600 for transportation. After the extermination, everything I had to do to this truck, I think I had around 10 to, so that's $10,200. And I sold this truck for 16 grand. So that'd be a total profit of around $6,000, which is a insane deal, but it was a lot of work but I definitely think that it was worth it in the end and the customer got a great deal. And before you guys bash in the comments saying, I would never buy that truck, you scammed him, blah, 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 blah. That's for one, if I wouldn't have bought this truck, some other dealer would have bought it. And it is more than likely that one of you guys would have bought this truck not knowing. So I would rather buy these vehicles, make them look absolutely brand new and do them the right way and sell them at a discount because the dealer would have still sold you this truck for twenty four to twenty six thousand dollars they probably would have just half cleaned it not got all the roaches and you would have paid top retail for a truck that was absolutely disgusting that you didn't know of and that's the sad truth about the used car market is you really don't know because a lot of the dealers are not gonna well no dealer out there is gonna tell you hey your truck was you know this thing was absolutely disgusting there was roaches blah blah blah. no they're just gonna sell you the truck tell you it was a one owner super clean truck it was babied in all reality nobody knows exactly what goes on with these used car vehicles so if you guys want me to make more videos about flipping cars maybe do parts or series or maybe buy some wrecked exotic cars i don't know you guys let me know down below what videos you guys would like to see and i will gladly make them for you So moving on to cleaning the interior panels of this vehicle, I'll be using our Extreme APC followed by our 100% Boris Hair Mad Detailing brushes. And then I'll be using our steam cleaner to loosen up all this nasty gunk, anything that is stuck onto these panels. And then I'll be using a microfiber followed by a air compressor to make sure I blow out everything that is stuck in the cracks and crevices.
So as you guys see, there is somebody else working with me and that is my employee, Cole. Cole is a super awesome dude that is very good at detailing. So you guys will definitely see him more in these videos. Since this vehicle was absolutely disgusting, we're actually not doing this truck at our shop. As you guys can see, there's a shop right down the road that does a lot of wholesale vehicles and they buy a lot of cars and trucks with roaches. So they don't mind me doing the roach cars at their shop because I am definitely not doing anything but roaches inside my shop because that is just asking for a problem and I just would never do it.
before we can tackle this extremely swirled paint, the first thing we need to do is clay bar this entire truck. And for this, we're using our brand new mad detailing clay lube and a synthetic clay bar to remove all the contamination that is deeply embedded inside of this clear coat. So I'm starting off with the front quarter panel and what I'm doing here is I'm doing actually doing a test spot. So I'm using a DeWalt rotary polisher with a heavy cut wool pad and our new mad detailing compound. And then I will go back with a Rupes Mark III polisher, a orange polishing pad in HD1. And I'm gonna see what kind of results I get with that, which you guys will see here just a second after I'm done doing both that the results were absolutely perfect. So we are going to continue the same method on the entire truck.
the last thing that i'm doing here is i'm spraying the entire truck with our new mad detailing ceramic spray sealant and this sealant is like no other it has 30 percent sio2 which is absolutely insane there is nothing on the market right now with that much sio2 and this product is finally up on our website for purchase i highly recommend trying this product Oh man, is this the same truck? <laughs> I'm gonna open the inside. Oh, this ain't the same inside. <laughs> Damn good interior. What you do? Did you paint it? <laughs> Looks good. I like this here. Nice and shiny. This was rusted. It was white. Now look at it. It's black. <laughs> mm. Excellent. Excellent job. The roof look good, windows look good, front end, she gonna love it. I gotta put a cover over it to take it home. 